Let me ask you something. You and I have both worked at Sign Out Live. And Ooh, I'm curious, because everyone <laughs> tells me what I was, when I was at Sign Out Live, I wasn't one of those quiet writers. I, I, would, I like to sort of get up and perform my ideas for people. You know, oh. I, was, I was the guy that was always talking. And I've heard that you were the same way, that you <laughs> like to, when you had an idea and you wanted to make a comedy pitch, that you could make everybody in the room laugh. Is that true? Yeah, man, because you know what? We, we have that stand-up mentality. Now, some people came in the show, of course, as straight writers, and some came in as stand-up artists. We are used to being in front of an audience. We're used to projecting a certain way, and we're used to, we, we like to paint pictures of what we're pitching. So yeah. that was my style. You know what I love to hear about us? I love to hear about the ideas that never made it on the Saturday Night Live. Those are my favorite ideas. Do you have any pitches that you oh. did back in the day that you loved and you got up and you performed them and it never got on the show? Oh yeah, man, I had a bunch of them, man. I had one, this one I love. This one I don't understand why I didn't make it. I, this was one of my favorite ones. So I had a guy that, that used to work in a bank. He used to a work in a bank. For years, years doing bank teller. Like when you work somewhere, you, you, you start to take on your job. Your job becomes a part of you because you go there every day, you're doing it every day. It's a bank teller and you count money you lick the thumb. You lick the thumb and you count the money out. Right. Make sure the person is good. You know, sure. if you don't have one of those little round circle sponges that you put the thumb in. Yeah. But anyway, most people are so used to counting money and they yeah. got thumb and they count that. that money for you. Yeah. They that money all out for you. Right. So this guy ends up getting fired, right, from the bank. He moved on. He was there for a long time. He ended up getting a new job. Now he works at a sandwich shop. Now, but he's working at a sandwich shop like Subway or something like that, but he can't get the bank teller out of his system. So he's making you a sandwich. You want the club sandwich. You know, the club sandwich comes with the comes with the bacon, comes with the the the, 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 uh, the the turkey, the Swiss. You want that, right? And he asks you, you want Swiss cheese on it? And he licks his finger <laughs> and puts that cheese on it every time, every single time. You, you want to add salami? <laughs> every time, every time he's putting the meat on, which is which is disgusting. Uh -huh. But he can't stop. He can't stop. I love that idea. That didn't get on the that, air. That, that idea should have made it. You know, looking at your thumb, making a sandwich for somebody, that should have yeah. made it. That should have made it. What else? Uh, you got another one? I want to oh, hear another oh, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got a few on, man. Uh, uh, I got one. Oh, 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 oh. This one right here never made it. This was uh, Tom Brady, the quarterback Tom Brady, uh, who used to play for the Patriots, now plays for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This yeah. guy, he was a he guest host. He was the guest host. He was a guest host. And um, he came to the show, and I wrote this idea for him where he was the first player in the NFL to smack another man on the butt after a good play. Oh, man. It was, it was, but, this, but this was a throwback, like, to the 40s. Yeah. Back in the days when guys wore leather helmets. Yeah, and yeah. He just kept smacking guys on the ass after a good play. Smacking on the ass. Uh, smacking on the ass after a good play. But nobody understood why this guy was doing this. <laughs> why does this guy keep doing this? Why does he keep smacking people on the butt? No one understood why he kept doing it. So he was the only NFL player in the world who got traded to every team in the NFL <laughs> because no one understood what the hell he was doing. And when uh -huh. he started doing it in the shower, that's when it took, that's when it went, went up to another level. Yeah, yeah. That's a very funny idea. I can't believe, oh, I, 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 think I, that, I think it's a good sketch. Oh, it's, it's a great sketch idea. Are you kidding me? It's a million of them that should have made it. And, and yeah. I just don't, you know, but you know, I digress, man. It's all good. You digress. But, it's all, you don't care. They didn't get on the show. But look at you now. You're in your zen space. I'm in my zen space. You're happy. 